Hi there, John here from Cape Town. And I've just gotten back from a four day men's retreat in Cedarburg and I picked up a whole bunch of new ways to think about my life. And one of the things that really struck me was this idea of the malleability of time. Now we know that uh, because of COVID-19, we are both in the slowest and fastest time that we've ever experienced. You know, certain things are taking forever, like, for example, going overseas, and other things are just whizzing past. It almost feels like it's Friday every time I turn around. It's just Friday. The weeks are whizzing past, but other things are taking so long. And it's kind of almost like reality or time is shifting. The way we perceive time is shifting, which is really odd because it's always been the same, and now it's not. The second thing is I call myself a futures strategist. In other words, there are plural futures that we are able to create, expect, and project. There isn't just one future. And uh, often people ask me when I'm in interviews, like, tell us about the future, tell us about the trends. And I'm like, it's really impossible to have a broad stroke on anything about the future because it's so different for so many different people. There are broader strokes like the move from uh, globalization to digitization to dispersion. I mean, that's really what's happening around the world. Or we've moved from brick and mortar to digital to virtual. Those are obvious sort of moves in the world. But we all live in our own pocket of reality. You know, we all create our own level of abundance or the lack of. You know, some people always make money no matter what's going on in the economy. And some people never make money no matter what's going on in the economy. So it really is a sort of personal bubble that we live within. So one of the tricks I learned was speaking about your future in past tense. And I thought that was such an interesting trick to play on yourself. And really, if you understand quantum science, you start to understand that our perspective of time, our perspective of our reality actually is the echo on which reality comes back to us. So in three years time, if you are going to bump into one of your friends and you tell them about your life like it has happened based on your future intentions and perspectives. So, for example, hey, Paul, what's happening? How are you doing? Wonderful to see you. You won't believe what's been going on in my life. You know, one of my books became a bestseller in New York and it's really propelled my career. I've met the most amazing woman. I'm now in a relationship. We're planning a family. I've now completed two Ironmen. They were really grueling and tough, but it's really elevated my state around my physicality. I'm now living in this city and that city. And go into detail around your life in past tense, like you're intending it into the future. I'm sure that makes sense. So use language that you would use with a friend, write out the story. I've been writing it uh, in my journal every morning, talking about my future in past tense, and I'm loving it. It's, a, it's almost like the settling in my mind that it's already happened. And because of that, I'm sure my reality creation will happen even faster. So tomorrow morning. Practice it. Write it out. Think about it. Describe it in exactly the way you want it to have happened in past tense to a good friend using the language that you always like using. Ciao from Cape Town.